Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I've got for you, this is my last ever game I played in my T32. I've now got the M103, I hadn't aced the T32 up until this game, my very last game I played in it. You, you can't write, you can't write stuff like that. It was absolutely awesome. This is the game, it's, it's just, it's T32 101. It's a tier 8 game, excuse me, a tier 8 game on the mines map. It's 62% chance to win. So, I didn't think I was going to have as big an impact as I did in the game. Um, but, yeah, this game is just it, T32. Th this is how you play the T32, pretty much. Let's come up to the middle. Only exposing my turret armor. And then... Boom. First shot into the 5100. Looking at where the T-34 is. Fire at the thir Ferdinand. Fire at his, uh, one of his cheeks. Obviously the weak spots on the Ferdinand. Take a hit there. Not sure what from. I think that might have been the T-34. That was a ridiculously low roll if it was the T-34. I'm not really sure where that one went in to be fair. Um, oh, it's a Coppola snipe. You see just there. You see me here bouncing a lot of shells. And this is what the T-32 does. You sit... You go hold down and you just use a 105 mil gun and just go LOL I don't particularly like this gun to be honest I free XP'd because I got the M103 and I free XP'd the first 120mm gun because obviously you've used this gun all the way through the T29 and all the way through the T32 and I thought yeah you know what it's time for change I don't want to use this this gun anymore so I free XP'd the 120mm and you can see here, I'm just blocking so much damage. Shot there, finishing off the T32. Firing at his lower plate, T34 misses again. Lots of things shoot me there. Nothing pens. Snapshot, kill the MT25, because I don't want him getting away, because he could cause problems, because T32's got very good frontal armor, but its side and rear armor is absolutely awful. Ridiculous. Ridiculously bad side and rear, rear armor on this thing. Obviously, the turret is just godlike, as you're seeing here. Everything is just hitting my turret and just bouncing. Um, and yeah, so what? Let's let's talk a little bit more about the um, about the T T32's gun. Now it's a 105 mil gun. It's got 198 penetration and 320 average damage. Its aim time is good. Its accuracy is mediocre at best. And its rate of fire is meh, to say the least. It's it's an okay gun. Obviously, you get this gun on the T29. It's not quite as good on the T29, but I prefer it on the T29 than the T32. It's not a gun that you, I would say, you should use on a tier eight heavy tank. You should you should use it should be used on a tier seven or. Well, uh, on a tier 7 heavy tank, sorry. Now, as y as you can see here, the accuracy, I say it's not uh, mediocre at best, it's really not that good. I'll be honest, it is really not that good. And obviously, you can see my hit log here, that's a lot of bounces, but that is all off the turret. The front of the hull, this bit is okay if they hit it at an angle or they're shooting up at it, it's okay. But again, it's not great, same... You just gotta use the turret in this thing. Like you saw me doing earlier, I blocked three and a half thousand damage using the turret of this thing. And this T34 does look very silly right now. Bounce a shot there from the Ferdinand. I'm actually quite lucky that bounced because I'm not sure where that hit, but I was exposing my hull. I wasn't. Was it the Ferdinand? No, it couldn't have been the Ferdinand. He was already dead. It must have been the SU12244. Now I think I'm not really gonna get much more damage up here. I'm going down. So I go down, um, I don't take that much damage there. I only take 32 ramming damage for falling off the hill. I'm quite fortunate here that the 5100 and the TVP aren't really paying me much attention. Um, the 5100 rammed me, which enabled me to guarantee the one shot on him. Put one into the TV, TVP, TVU. That's the thing about this gun. It hasn't got the big alpha damage like the IS-3 or the T-34. It's 320 is a bit... Mm, you can't... F 
I don't really know. I absolutely love this tank. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. But it's just... Eh. The, the gun is a bit is a bit disappointing in my opinion but the rest of the tank is really good I mean it's r really quite quick in a straight line but don't turn in it it's awful um, it's awful at turning it's traverse speed is really low and this is pretty much all that happens there there you go oh god screen's gone black anyway um, let's just go take a very quick look at the post game stats guys so there we go guys that was an ace tanker like I said in my Final game in the T32, quite lucky there. Also we got the steel wall, the high caliber and the top gun for doing 4,159 damage, 2,123 assisted. You can see there we researched the M103 as well, which was quite nice. And I've been playing that quite a lot uh, recently, especially since I um, reco recorded the actual video and I'm enjoying it quite a lot. So like I said, 4,159 damage, the 6 kills, we've got 1,561 base XP, which is pretty ridiculous, especially in the T32, that is a very, very, very good game, well, you'd be happy with that game in any kind of tank, not just the T32. Uh, come on, change. So we fired 19 shots, hit 19, penetrated 15, doing the 4,000, just over 4,000 damage, like I said. We also blocked 4,235, so like tri almost triple the hit points of our vehicle. We made 44,000 credits profit, and that was actually on a times 5 event as well, so we got 11,710 XP, which is fairly ridiculous. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, um, and I'll see you next time.